What's up guys, it's Chris Heria. Welcome to another vlog. Today I'm gonna to show you a six pack abs workout that's perfect for complete beginners that you can do anywhere. All the exercises we'll be doing in today's workout routine requires absolutely no equipment and no technical skills or prior experience to perform any of these movements. These are basic, highly effective movements specifically for fat burning and building six pack abs, as well as strengthening all the muscles within your core from your obliques, abdominals, and lower back. And for complete beginners, the best way to start training is to incorporate high intensity interval training, not only to ensure that you're significantly burning fat, but also push you and to condition you from the very beginning to have a strong, fitness mindset, meaning that every time you work out, you're gonna give it 100% full effort and push yourself to ensure that you're constantly progressing. That's one of the main differences on people that see results and that don't. If you're doing the same reps, the same routine, and the same stuff every single day, every single time, you're gonna be getting the same results and eventually plateau until you decide to push yourself past those limits. So from the very beginning, we're gonna be working on our mental strength as well as our physical strength by incorporating high intensity interval training, doing these exercises for an extended period of time versus doing them for reps. And by doing high intensity exercises in intervals, we're gonna be creating an afterburn effect that will have you burning fat up to 24 hours after you finished your workout routine. So if you guys are ready to get started, get this workout on the Harrier Pro app. If you don't have the app, go ahead and download it in the app store to get this workout and all my workouts and workout programs right on your phone. So for today's workout, out. We have eight exercises, 45 seconds each, 15 seconds of rest in between. We're gonna go non-stop. Go ahead and make some space around you and let's get started. The first exercise is jumping jacks. Let's go for it. regulating your breathing as you're doing this movement. This is one of the best exercises to start learning how to breathe while you're exercising. Breathing from your diaphragm, in through your nose, out through your mouth. The next exercise is gonna be in and out on the floor. If you don't know how to do this exercise, click on the description and see how to do it with perfect form. This is one of my favorite things about the app. I really don't even have to think about what the next exercise is gonna be. I can just get right into the workout. So let's go, in and out. Make sure you're keeping your feet together all the way up, all the way out for full range of motion. feel like you need to take a rest, go ahead and take a moment to catch your breath and then keep going. Don't stop, try to keep up the intensity. All right, almost done. All right, keep in mind while you're doing these exercises, it's better to slow down your movements than to completely stop. Next exercise we have is gonna be bicycles. Let's get on our backs, full extension. Knee to your elbow, completely extend the leg to the other side. Regulate that breathing, guys. You got this. All right, go as hard as you can. Last couple seconds. <sighs> Intensity up. <sighs> Woo. All right, there you have it. Bicycles. Try to always be pushing yourself. So the next exercise we're gonna be going into is laying knee raises. We're gonna have our legs all the way straight. Bring our knees up. Come right back. Full range of motion. Music. 
last couple reps. <sighs> Next exercise with side plank, up and down. So for this exercise, I want you to drop your hips all the way down and then come back up. And if you guys are feeling like this is a little too easy, keep your arms straight. You're gonna have a greater range of motion. Let's go for it. Keep that arm straight and tighten your core. All right, let's go ahead and switch arms. Next, we're gonna be moving into plank side to side. Let's go ahead, get into a plank position. We're gonna drop our hips to one side, drop our hips to the other side, but remain the tightness in your core. We got this, we got this, we're almost there. Squeeze the core, make sure you're breathing. Don't keep your head too down. Keep your chin up. Keep your hips up. All right, last couple reps. Give it everything you got. You should definitely be feeling it by now. If not, these last two exercises are definitely gonna do it for you. We have mountain climbers, 45 seconds. Keep up the intensity. Let's go for it. Bring those knees up as high as you can. If you have more energy, try to go faster and increase your intensity. And if you guys are feeling a bit fatigued, you can go ahead and slow it down. But don't stop. All right, these last 10 seconds, let's do switching. Cross over. Woo. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh. All right. Mountain climbers, one of the best exercises for burning fat and building six pack abs. This last exercise is gonna be high knee taps to increase the intensity and to finish off strong. So if you guys are ready for it, let's get right into this exercise. Keep those knees up. Keep those knees up. Everything you got, these are the last reps right here. Last five seconds. Let's go. Woo. All right. There we have round one of this six pack abs workout for complete beginners that you can do absolutely anywhere. Now I know this exercise may seem tough to some of you out there, but remember the actual exercise you're very capable of doing. What makes it tough is how long you're doing the exercise for, how intense you're doing it, and how short of a rest that you have. So if you're still having trouble trying to complete this workout routine, try to work on those three aspects, gradually increasing them over time or over the course of the rounds. You can start round one with 30 seconds each exercise, and in round two, maybe take it to 
the next level, increase that time to 40 seconds each exercise. Or start off as intense as you can and decrease the time the more you fatigue. The main goal is to push yourself and to condition you to always doing so every workout routine. And lastly, to make this really effective, you need to have your nutrition on point. You could be making all this progress and doing all this hard work, but be backtracking every time you eat a meal, killing your progress and killing your potential gains. So to get real results, along with doing this workout routine, you need to have healthy eating habits so your muscles have time to repair. But we still have three more rounds to go to complete this workout routine. So go ahead and complete your workout and thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, definitely smash that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys want the next video to be about. I'm actually always down in the comment section. You guys see me liking all your comments. Share this video with a friend that's trying to get six pack abs and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern time. And if you comment within 30 minutes of any upload, you always have a chance to win some free Harry apparel. And for more workouts just like this, getting you in the best shape of your life and to get full access to my personal workouts and workout programs just like this, then definitely make sure you go to harriapro.com, become a member and download the Harry Pro app in the app store to make sure that you have all my workout programs and workouts right in your phone. It's like having me as a personal trainer right in your pocket. And for more of my content during the week, make sure you're following me on Instagram. On almost every post, I usually do a giveaway. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, then make sure you're following me on IG. And for more of my music, definitely give me a follow on SoundCloud. As soon as I reach 10K subscribers, I'm gonna be releasing all the music you hear on this channel, as well as some unreleased music you guys haven't heard yet. And with that said, I'll see you guys next Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love, baby. Harry and Smash that like button, guys.